So my problem is 2x squared plus 11x plus 15x all over 10x squared plus 22x plus 18 divided by 3x squared plus 28x plus 32 all over 3x squared plus 19x plus 20. So first, we want to factor out the numerator of this one. So this is the one we have to factor out. So you multiply 2 and 15 to get 30. First common factor of that is 5 and 6. So you plug that back into the equation to get 2x squared plus 5x plus 6x plus 15. Put parentheses on that and that and that and that. Then you have to factor out the greatest common factor out of each one. So it would be x and then 2x plus 5. And then add, out of this one you can factor out a uh, 3. So you get 2x plus 5. Then you combine them together, x plus 3, and then 2x plus 5. And this part right here will take place of this one. So this problem is this one, the denominator down here. Then you need to factor it out, and you get 10 and 18. You have to multiply those together to get 180. And the greatest common factor of that is 15 and 12. And so you plug that back into the problem, so you get 10x squared plus 15x plus 12x plus 18. And then you have to put, group it by putting parentheses. And then you have to factor out the greatest common factor out of each group. So it would be 5x over here, which leaves you with 2x plus 3. And then you have to factor out a 6 out of this one, which leaves you with 2x plus 3. So then you group those together, and you get 5x plus 6 multiplied by 2x plus 3. And this whole thing takes place of this. So, so far, our first problem, this whole problem right here, will look like x plus 5 over 2x plus 5 over 5x plus 6 times 2x plus 3. So we got this first part done, and now the next slide we're going to be doing this one. So for this one, this is our... Uh, second numerator of the second half of the problem. First you have to multiply the 3 and the 32 again. So then that will equal to um, 96. Then you take the greatest common factor of that which is 24 and 4. Then you, once again you group that back into the problem. So it would be 3x squared plus 24x plus 4x plus 32. Then you want to group it again by parentheses. And then you want to factor out the greatest common factor out of each one. 3x, x plus 8. And you can take a 4 out of this one and leaves you with x plus 8. So then your problem is 3x plus 4 times x plus 8. <coughs> and this takes place of that. So this problem right here is the, our last one in the denominator right here. So we're going to multiply 20 and 3 to get 60. And the greatest common factor of that is 4 and 15. So then you put that back into the group, so you get 3x squared plus 4x plus 15x plus 20. 
and then you have to put parentheses around here to group it. And then you have to take the greatest common factor out of each one. For this one, it would just be an x. So you get 3x plus 4. So then you, out of this one, you can factor out a 5, and you get 4x plus, sorry, not 4x. There will be a 3x. 3x plus 4. So then you group those back together and you get x plus 5 multiplied by 3x plus 4. So this takes place of that. So our problem right now looks like this. x plus 5 multiplied by 2x plus 5 over 5x plus 6 multiplied by 2x plus 3. And this is divided by x plus 5 times 3x plus 4 all over 3x plus 4 times x plus 8. So this is our problem as of now with everything factored out. Alright, so this is our new problem. After we factored everything out of the numerators and the denominators. So now since we're dividing, we need to take the reciprocal of that. So we'll get x plus 5. 2x plus 5 over 5x plus 6 times 2x plus 3, and then now it's multiplied because you have to take the reciprocal of this, so it's 3x plus 4, x plus 8, and then you, you flip the numerator and the denominator, so you get x plus 5 for the bottom, times 3x plus 4, so then you can, uh, you can also cross simplify, so you can get the x plus 5 and x plus 5 because they're the same and they simplify. And then also from the numerator and the denominator in this one, you can cross out the 3x plus 4 and 3x plus 4. So your final problem is 2x plus 5 and x times x plus 8 all over 5x plus 6, six times 2x plus 3. And this is the final answer. You can't factor anything else out of there or cancel anything. The end.